Chase Banks, as you see there. And as Candy just reported, President Obama tomorrow unveils his plan to address the foreclosure crisis. That plan is supposed to help homeowners save their homes. Kitty Pilgrim has our report. President Obama will announce his housing plan in Mesa, Arizona, where housing prices are down 35% in the last year. We're going to have to help homeowners, not just banks, but homeowners as well. The plan is expected to use $50 billion of the remaining $350 billion in TARP funds to subsidize mortgages for troubled homeowners. It will give homeowners an eligibility test to see if they can afford their home. Identify those loans, find out who's still working, and then modify those loans so that the people who are still working can continue paying on a mortgage. The widely expected proposal potentially would set monthly mortgage payments to 31% of pre-tax income. And the basic idea is we've seen that the monthly payment will be taken down to some percentage of income, but we also need to look at other things, the value of the home itself. They still have a home that's probably well under the debt they have on it. The still unanswered question is will the principal amount of the mortgage be reduced to reflect market conditions? In exchange for reducing the, the payment that the, that the homeowner owes on the house, that the banks would get some money from the federal government, although probably not enough to make up for their losses. Last week, several large banks, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan Chase, and Bank of America, promised to halt foreclosures for at least three weeks in anticipation of the Obama mortgage plan. Past government plans have only given superficial relief. An existing Fannie Mae Freddie Mac plan put payments at 38% of income. A formerly announced FDIC plan streamlined mortgages with reduction in interest, but not of principal. And another program, Hope for Homeowners, put the burden on borrowers to refinance at relatively high costs. Now, in theory, people could take an eligibility test even before their mortgage becomes delinquent. For example, to restructure a subprime mortgage even before they default. But the eligibility test would only help those who could continue to make the payments and not the millions who have lost their jobs, Lou. Uh, 50 million, that seems to be the number. There.